Today, Aaron interviews Black X Worm, a YouTuber that made it big by trolling hardcore Call of Duty players through his camping tactics and his one of a kind motor mouth trash talking expertise. Kid, I'll shove a foot so far up your ass, you'll be spitting out toenail jam for a motherfucking week, son. You know what I'm saying? This episode is brought to you by BenQ, bringing enjoyment and quality to life. Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Aaron, and in today's episode of Impulse, we're going to dive into Mr. Black X Worm. Oh, you guys know him, Worm Nation, who out there is part of the Worm Nation, but guys, Black X Worm is one of the successful YouTubers who have found camping strategies on Black Ops and Call of Duty games to be advantageous and grow an audience. Who would have thought? I hate campers to be honest, but whatever works for him, it's been working. You're also gonna know something different in this episode. You're going to see everyone's comments on the last video that talked about Black X Worm, what they think about him. They're gonna show up. So if you guys like free shout outs on the Impulse Show, you better put a comment down below on this episode for next week's successful YouTuber. All right, let's get started. So Worm, quick question. Thunder got you started on YouTube. How did he do it and where did you guys meet? How it happened was we actually I, I didn't even, I never even thought about making a YouTube channel. I, I was never even into watching people on YouTube. I was just playing Black Ops 2 and I was being a massive dick and camping and like, you know, just doing all the stuff that I shouldn't be doing. But uh, Thunder was in the game lobby at like two in the morning and uh, he, he caught me doing all the camping and stuff like that. And the first game we ever met in, uh, I was, I was really like rude and saying all this stuff. And he was like, oh, I'm going to put you on. A YouTube video and I was like dude I don't care about that you know so then he had like 165,000 subs at the time and I was like oh, I couldn't care less and he the first game he recorded and then the second game he was in with me so he uploaded that video it was camper of the week and then there was such a good response to that that I sent him another video from the um, the Black Ops 2 like catalog or whatever that you could save the videos and then the the second video went viral and that's when I started YouTube because he told me, he was like, dude, you got to do this. So I was like, oh, all right, all right. Well, dude, that's really cool. It's always interesting to see another YouTuber in a multiplayer lobby. Now, how did you know that you were succeeding and had something that everybody wanted to watch? One thing that told me I was going to like not succeed because I it everything still happens real quick. But I had 3000 subscribers before I even had a video on my channel or a picture or anything. I just had Black X Worm on my YouTube channel and I had 3000 subs before I even uploaded one video. I went from completely unknown. I didn't know any YouTubers' names or channels or anything. And the only dude I knew was Legend of Thunder. And because I just ran into him that night, you know? And then less than a week later, he was like, dude, just get your channel. So I put Black X for it, my gamer tag on, on the channel and 3,000 subs before I even had a video. Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. 3,000 subs and you didn't even upload one single video. I guess again, collaboration and shoutouts are kind of a big important thing when it comes to growing on YouTube. So along your journey, what's the favorite part about being a YouTuber? Hey, uh, well, this sounds bad, but my favorite part about it is that the the level of success that I've had so far has been able to make me like piss so many people off on a grand scale, you know what I mean? Like so many people are like, you've ruined the game, you're, you're a camper. Like I, the thing I, being a YouTuber, it let me drag that really nasty person out of the dark, like that person that everybody sees in video games, but nobody's ever really capitalized on it, and like camping and trolling and all that stuff, and being able to bring it into the light into such a big scale, you know what I mean? Dude, man, I cannot stand campers. I'm a hardcore FPS player, especially Call of Duty. I can't stand you campers. <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the thing is, especially when you do it so long, like I've camped in like Halo and every single gun game, it's like... The, the, the thing is, you just find the best spot. It's not the most action-packed thing, but you're getting wins, you know what I mean? You're winning, and the best part is, though, is that how mad people get at the camper, you know? They're like, move out of the spot! It's like, oh, it's great. Dude, I'm serious. I cannot stand campers. It's not funny. Stop laughing. But anyway, what have you discovered is the biggest factor to growing and succeeding on YouTube? The way I found out, personally, is that just do it do you you know like don't don't worry about what other yeah originality like just because you've got a million people doing this way of a channel cookie cutter kind of thing don't do that you know like my channel's like total it's not a heartwarming channel it's a total jerk asshole channel yeah total, yeah and it, it just it's worked you know so transitioning into something completely random pizza everyone loves pizza what's your favorite topping man favorite pizza topping um this will, uh, th this will be an anti-cheese because only rats like cheese, so no cheese. 
snitches get stitches. I don't do a whole lot of pizza. I like calzones. I like calzones. Barbecue chicken. Calzones. I do love calzones actually better than pizza because I'm always finding myself folding the pizza. Does anybody else do that? Tell me in the comments below. But anyway, biggest accomplishment. You've been on YouTube for a while. So out of all the things you've done, what's the most memorable and biggest accomplishment? Getting featured on Kotaku. We got, fe Thunder and I got featured on the front of Kotaku. Or, yeah, it was it was like the huge front page of Kotaku um, website. That was, that was insanity because I remember hearing about that and like, whoa. And, uh, it, well, it's a 50-50 because that, and then the fact that they made a worm character in um, Ghosts and Advanced Warfare as bots. So those are my two like huge things. Like they, they put a worm bot inside Advanced Warfare that you could play against. And they did that with uh, Ghosts as well. And he just, the, the Ghost one just sits around with the right shield on his back and he's got a shotgun and whatnot. So yeah, that, they, they made me like a bot. It's me, yeah. Really? You are an actual character as one of the bots in Call of Duty Ghost? I'm gonna go back now and play Call of Duty Ghost to see which bot it actually is and see if he just sits there in camps and does exactly your antics. All right, everybody gets burned out all the time uploading videos and they're on the grind. They always know that the grind consistency is, is how do you grow a successful channel. But what is actually your fuel or your motivation to keep uploading those videos? It, it would probably go into a generalization of anybody who's, I, I always get messages from like, sons, dads, sisters, they're always saying, oh, I, I was having such a bad day, but what, you know, and, and it's weird hearing this because the channel is based on like just vulgarity usually, but it'll be like, oh, I was having such a bad time. Um, the one that sticks out to me was, oh, I just broke up with my girlfriend from a long time and we had uh, such a long relationship and I was really in a rut and a dark place, but then watching your stuff really got me out of that. And I was like, whoa, that's that's really cool. Cause that the whole point of it is for people to enjoy it, you know? And those those kind of comments are the best ones, but I also love the hate mail that I get. Like that's my favorite stuff. I love it. It's so good. The hate mail is, is what keeps me going. That's, well, that's how I know I'm doing something right when they're like, Oh, like you, you did this, I can't, can't believe you went to this level. And it's like, every time you cross that line, you, you meet this checkpoint, but there's always another line to cross. So it's like, it, it's what keeps me going. The hate mail and those mixed up. It's like a yin yang, you know? You're probably one of the very few people that actually enjoy the hatred comments that actually come your way. I can't do it. And a lot of the people I know can't do it. So yeah, I'm with you. I block those guys and just like get to forget here. But anyway, last question. What is your guilty pleasure? Katy Perry part of me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big time. Katy Perry? Really? Dude, I gotta hear you sing it. Do it, man. Sing it for us. Hey! Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> what? That was awesome. Yo, that was awesome. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Impulse. We got to see about Black X Worm growing on YouTube. Again, comments below what you think about Black X Worm, and comment about the next interview that's going to be on this show next week. That successful YouTuber is iPod King Carter. Again, link in the description below. Check out his channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about him, and you will show up on next week's episode of Impulse. So if you like free shoutouts, I better be seeing you in the comments like crazy. That's a wrap. My name is Aaron, founder of Impulse. Don't ever give up on your dreams. You will get there one day on your awesome adventure on YouTube. See ya! So a quick side note, um, XJaws, who has almost a million subscribers on YouTube, he's actually my second cousin. I didn't know this. I met him one time at um, one of my cousin's bar mitzvahs because, you know, I'm Jewish, even though I've got this uh, holiday Christmas shirt on. <laughs>